Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Mike, your boy Mr. Cha here, coming at you with a video. In this video, I'm going to discuss an experience that I had at Stepney Cemetery in Connecticut, supposedly one of the most haunted cemeteries in the state. Um, I went there alone one evening by myself. Um, it was around 6 or 7. It was fall time, so the leaves were falling on the ground and all that good stuff. It was uh, very uh, festive, if you will, very spooky. But that's not what I'm going to get into. I'm going to get into it right now. I pull up after driving to the cemetery. I park my car across the street at a pizza joint, pizza restaurant, and I walk across the street into the cemetery. So the sun's just starting to set right now, or it's already beginning to set, and it's almost down, and um, you can't see it anymore on the horizon. And uh, I get to the cemetery around that time. I walk in. Instantly, it feels more cold inside the cemetery than it did on the outside before I entered. Just these cold spots that you could distinctly feel and, um, and all that were just all present and all around me. It's like they, they surrounded me, or it surrounded me, the cold sensations. Um, out of nowhere, though, I was walking towards the right-hand side of the cemetery where Ed and Lorraine Warren are buried. Um, rest in peace, you two. But in any case, um, I was walking towards that area, that direction, and it felt like something, a hand touched my shoulder and held onto it for a second, almost pulling me back from where I was walking to. Instantly, I jolted and I turned around, thinking there'd be someone there because it literally physically felt and had strength to it when they pulled on my shoulder or when it pulled on my shoulder, whatever the case is. And um, I thought it was actually a human being that was there behind me and snuck up on me. For whatever reason, I didn't know, but I turned around and no one was there. Um, so that freaked me out very, uh, very much so. And uh, I just continued into the cemetery because I was like, wow, that's already firsthand uh, testimony and a half of paranormal activity going on at the cemetery. Something touched me. Then out of the corner of my eye, I saw something walking between gravestones, between the plots, and uh, it looked like a white apparition. As soon as I saw that, I heard laughter out of my le I think it was my left ear. It sounded like a child laughing. Like, ha, ha, ha. And I heard that a few times, and uh, I just looked, and, you know, there was nobody there, nobody laughing. It stopped. I didn't hear it anymore. I looked back, and this white apparition was just standing there, maybe 200 feet away from me. Um, just, it seemed like it was standing by a headstone, by a plot, just looking down at it. Um, I could distinctly see body parts, which is crazy. I saw the arms, I saw the legs, and the head, and the torso, so on and so forth, in this distinct white glow. It looked like a white mist. And um, I instantly was about to head away from that apparition and head back to my car and get out of there. But I wanted to investigate a little bit further. So I broke out my EMF meter. Um... And uh, I started walking through the cemetery. And hold on one sec. I just grabbed something. So specifically, I was using my EMF meter as I walked towards the white apparition. And um, as I got closer, it started spiking and going all the way to red um, in the red zone. And uh, I still saw the white lady at this point. I'm about 50 to 100 feet away from her or whatever apparition it was that I saw. And um, I try to make contact. I say hello. I make hand gestures like this, trying to get its attention, but nothing happens. As quickly as I saw it, it then vanished in front of my eyes. It's as if it dispersed itself into this mist, into the atmosphere that was gone within seconds. Um, so I had no chance to interact with the entity. And uh, as quickly as that whole experience started, that's as fast as I left the cemetery because I was that freaked out. So I went back to my car and drove home and then kind of recapped amongst my own self about what had happened. But that concludes this story. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, drop a like down below. Um, drop a comment down below. Let me know your experiences and so on. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for more content. Word of me. As always, cheers and ciao until next time. Peace. Catch you on the flip side.